Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Faith Walk 101. We are so glad that you could join us. Can man save you? Is that even up for debate? You know, we're living in a world today where man is offering all sorts of things if you support him, if you put him into office. But my friends, only Jesus can save. Only Jesus can. I know the debate today is about all the things I can give you. I can give you life. I can make your life comfortable. I can make it so you don't have to do anything hard. If you can do life without an effort, freedom that costs nothing, all you have to do is put all your trust in man. But my friends, let me tell you this. There is a price for freedom and it was paid on the cross and it was paid uh, for all the lost. It was paid for you and I. Well, who are the lost? Well, in Romans chapter 3 and verse 23, the Bible says, all, all, what does all mean? That means everybody have sinned and come short of the glory of God. My friends, that is not up for debate. All have sinned. That's why the price for sin was paid on the cross by our Lord Jesus Christ. There had to be a debt that was paid and it was paid by our Lord Jesus Christ. My friends, man cannot save you. The Bible says, what good does it do for man to gain the whole world and to lose his soul? Man is promising all of these things, all of these things that he says he could do for you, how he can make your life easier and better. But my friends, there was a price paid for freedom. Freedom, is not free as the price that was paid. But we're living in a world that we want everything for free. We want life without effort. I don't even want to try. Is there someone out there that can come along and give me the, the life that I want? That where I won't have to do anything. I won't have to make any effort to uh, put forth any effort to do anything except exist and please myself. All my friends, the world saying, we're going to turn all the trash into cash and we're going to put it in your pocket. <laughs> Do you believe that? Do you believe that man wants to put money into your pocket so you can live and do nothing? What we need to do is understand God's plan. And the plan is that heaven and earth be one under our Lord Jesus Christ. My friends, sin came into the world. And Romans 8.23 says, all have sinned. No one is being excluded from it. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Well, how can I be saved? What can I do? Well, there was a price that was paid, and it was our Lord Jesus Christ that died on the cross. No man can save you. Nobody. The Bible does not say that. It says the Holy Spirit Jesus says, I'm going to send the Spirit into this world, the Holy Spirit. He's going to convict the world of his sins. He's going to show the world of our, our true condition, and that is our sinful state. And that's what Romans 8.23 says, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. So someone comes along and says, I'm going to promise you all these things if you do this for me. If you vote for me, if you put me in the office, remember, only Jesus saves. We want to put our hope in him. We want to put our trust in him. My friends, now is the time to come to our Lord Jesus Christ. Now is the time to hear what the Spirit of God is saying. These are the last days. Oh, am I trying to scare you? There should be a little fright because look at the world that's happening today, the things that's happening in our world today. My friends, it's coming to the end. Yes, it is. All people, there are scoffers that say, where is it? Where is your Lord Jesus who says he's coming back? My friends, he is coming back. All we have to do is look at the signs of the times. What's happening in our world? Evil everywhere. You know what? There is nowhere that you can go and hide today. Nowhere. Evil is everywhere. It's lurking all over. And man knows it. And that's why the enemy says the time is right where I can come forth 
and said, I'm going to promise you all these things, a better life. I'm going to make you comfortable. I'm going to give you money. All you have to do is trust me. That's what the enemy is saying. And a lot of people are falling for it because we're looking for comfort. We're looking for peace. We're looking for hope. But the only hope, the only peace that we'll ever be able to find is in, in our Lord Jesus Christ. So I ask the question again, the same question that's asked in the Bible. What good does it do for a man to lose, to gain the whole world, to gain the whole world and forfeit his soul? Your soul is the only thing you're going to get out of this world with, my friends. Now is the time to come to our Lord Jesus Christ. He is the only one who saves. He is the only one who gives peace. And he says, my peace I give to you, not like the world. The world is looking for peace. It's looking for comfort. It's looking for someone, something, anybody that can bring some kind of peace of mind. But the world can't do it. No man can do it. I don't care what he promises. I don't care how many good words he uses. My friends, he cannot do it. Man cannot save you. Now is the time. It is not up for debate. It is not up for debate. Our Lord Jesus is the only one who can save. Don't believe the lies. Test what I even say. Don't believe everything I say, my friend. It is up to you to look into the Word of God to see what God is saying to you personally. He wants everyone to be saved. But you have to make the effort personally. It's you, my friends, who has to get up off the couch and seek and serve Him. Trust Him. Look into His Word. Hear what He's saying to you personally. Don't just take anyone's word for what they're saying. It is up to you because in the end, you and only you will be accountable for your life. Continue to join us on Faith Walk 101 as we talk more about these things. God's not debating. He is commanding, but he loves us. Thank you, my friends.